They did it and didn't care. They didn't care. Kyle and Jackie Brace devastated from the loss of their son Grant nearly three years ago after two coaches at the University of the Cumberlands in Kentucky allegedly denied him water during an intensive practice, according to their lawsuit against the school. Ultimately, it killed him. August 31st, 2020, the Brace family says Grant, an upbeat, hardworking college wrestler, was forced into extra drills of so-called Punishment Hill amid 84-degree heat. The lawsuit claims Grant begged two now former coaches for water and that those pleas were denied. This surveillance video shared by the family's attorney with ABC News shows Grant struggling to open a locked door of the wrestling building. About an hour after that, he was found collapsed about 300 yards away, not far from a non-working water fountain. Here, people trying to perform CPR on Grant. His family saying these videos appear to show Grant desperately searching for a way to cool off. He was on all fours and he had dug his hands in the dirt and he had fistfuls of dirt. It's so painful to think that he was alone. The autopsy found Grant died from a heat stroke caused by an increase in body temperature brought on by intense physical activity in hot weather, a preventable death. Brace's family suing the Kentucky College for wrongful death, naming two of the coaches who ran practice that day amongst others. Teammate Alex Myers telling us the coaches were hard on them. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Nobody really had any water bottle at all left in their water bottles. And we could we weren't allowed to go back up to the room till the end of punishment. Hill. Playing a role in the lawsuit, a series of voice memos left on Grant's phone. Grant's daily blog for mom and dad in case something bad, bad were to happen to me. Documenting other alleged mistreatment from the wrestling department beginning from a previous season. You started to see a picture of this wasn't just one incident gone wrong. This was a pattern. This tragedy raising questions about how far coaches push student athletes. According to an article published in the American Journal of Sports Medicine in 2013, heat illness is among the leading causes of death in high school and college athletes each year. The University of the Cumberlands in a statement announcing they're settling for more than $14 million with the Brace family, adding safety is their top priority. The university saying it made the decision to settle the case now in a manner it hopes will respect the Brace family's tremendous loss. The settlement also mandating the university reteach coaches and players heat illness training. The settlement was never about the money. No, no, not at all. But with the settlement, we're able to do the things to help others. And it was a way to hold the university accountable.